Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com, and I'm going to talk a little bit about radon mitigation system or systems. And you might be able to see it over my shoulder here. They started to put one in in this new home. Little housekeeping first. Number one, I am not building this home. Some other builder is doing it. So if you see things wrong or things that don't seem right, don't blame me. Number two, if you discover something new in the video or something that helps you save time or money, why not buy me a beer, huh? Maybe two beers. All you have to do is look below the video, see that thanks text link, click it, buy me a couple of beers. I'd sure appreciate it. Let's get started. And I'll just, let's get started. And I will share with you all you need to know about radon. This is four inch pipe. It's perforated. So you can see those holes in it. Well, maybe you can't, but it's perforated drain pipe. Comes in about 10 foot lengths. And they put it around the perimeter of where the slab is gonna go in this particular job. Um, and then what it does is it exits right here. This is gonna serve both as a drain tile and a radon mitigation system. So how do I know that? How do I know that? Well, the clue is right here. If you walk over here, you see this T fitting. Looks like the letter T, but it's upside down. And you've got a vertical pipe, a four inch pipe that's coming up, that's gonna poke up out of the slab. If this was just a drain tile, you would never see this vertical pipe. And they did the exact same thing over in this other slab area. But this particular pipe is tilted really bad. Hopefully they're gonna fix that. They need to straighten that up. That's really poor workmanship. The biggest problem that I have with this installation as a drain tile system, and you can really see it clearly here, notice that this pipe's got a belly in it. In other words, the pipe has not been placed in gravel. This pipe should have been level at the very least, and better that it would slope all the way down to the end where it pokes through the foundation. Uh, we talked about this in an earlier video. The biggest problem with this particular pipe using it as a drain tile is that that's gonna freeze in the wintertime. Um, water that gets in this area here in the middle of January, it's not getting out. It's, it, who knows what's going to happen with it? Well, I pretty much know what's going to happen with it. It's, it's just going to keep rising up until it leaks out of the slab. All right, but so how does the radon work? Well, first of all, this is all solid granite. Um, we talked about that in an earlier video, one of the first videos in the series. They had to break it all out. Uh, granite is known to be a source of radon. A radon is a gas. Uh, it can cause lung cancer. And you, you want to be able to collect it. You want to be able to get it out of your home. And there's no easier way to do it in new construction than this. In other words, this particular pipe, once the house is built, you may see it later, it's going to go all the way up to the roof, and all they have to do is just poke that pipe out through the roof, just like a plumbing vent pipe, and every time the wind blows, it will suck air and suck radon out of this underneath the slab. The other thing they have to do, which is really, really important, and we'll see if they do it. Once this entire area is filled with gravel, they typically fill it to the top of the footing, and they need to cover it with a high performance vapor retarder. Not the crap stuff, cheap six mil stuff you see at the home centers. You need to use really, really cross laminated, like something like Super Samson uh, made by Raven Industries. It, it needs to pass uh, ASTM 1745, but you need a really high performance vapor barrier to stop the radon from working its way through the vapor barrier. And it's not that much ex more expensive. Just get a really, really good vapor retarder. It's really important to realize that when you install the pipe like this, this perforated drain pipe, it comes with different fittings. You can get couplings. You can get T fittings, 45 degree angles, and regular 90s. And you're going to need all those to put in a system like this. That's really all you need to know about radon mitigation systems. If you're building a new home, uh, check the maps that are, are out there on the internet. There are all kinds of maps that, that show you what the 
places are that have radon, uh, the places that have the highest risk, the places that have the lowest risk. Uh, it, it, you know, it only takes a little bit of time to put one of these systems in, and it's not that expensive. Even if you're in a low risk area, I would recommend doing it. You might not run the pipe up all the way through the roof now, but I would recommend doing it. And that way you can sleep at night. And it's a big plus when you go to sell your home. So make sure that you put in the correct pipe. Make sure that um, it goes up through the roof. You can even um, attach a, one of those Whirlybird turbine vents to it if you really want to pull the, the, the uh, radon out. You don't have to buy one of those fans. You don't need electricity. Anytime the wind blows across that pipe up on the roof, it's going to suck the radon right out of your home. It's really, really a really good system. If you got any questions, just come to my Ask the Builder website. And remember, uh, if you discovered something new, why not buy me a beer? Maybe two. Nothing hard to do about that at all. Look under the video. See that text link that says thanks with a heart next to it? Go ahead and click it. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks very much. I'm Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.